The British government has announced new measures to tackle human trafficking and modern-day slavery, following the findings of a new government report. Home Secretary Theresa May said tougher sanctions would be introduced to tackle the issue, including life sentences for those responsible for the worst offences, such as sex slavery. However, some say the government is ignoring wider problems mentioned in the report. I'd be interested to know how many serious prison sentences would be there for people from Saudi Arabia, royal mem members of the royal family, who are keeping domestic servants from the Philippines or Bangladesh in uh, virtual slavery, which is in the report. I'd be very interested to know what action is going to be taken against British multinational corporations who are employing forced labour in Bangladesh and other in sweatshop conditions. And so by concentrating on the, se on the sex industry in particular and the question of prostitution, I think actually is letting a whole number of people off the hook Trafficking from Eastern European countries such as Albania, Poland and Lithuania has seen a big rise. But victims from countries like Nigeria, Vietnam and China also feature prominently in the report. According to the report, women are most likely to be used as prostitutes, while men are most likely to be used for tough and dangerous physical labour. Many victims are too terrified to approach authorities for help, and those who do sometimes even find themselves being punished that when people involved in, for, in the forced prostitution actually are found by the police or go to the police to help in their inquiries, they themselves are liable to deportation. And I think people who have come to this country, have been mistreated, have been, run, uh, have been dealt with in this way, should be given the right to stay here, because especially if they're collaborated in uncovering uh, what's, uh, what's, uh, what's going on. Those targeted are often lured to the UK with the promise of free travel, a job and accommodation, sometimes even by family members. Analysts say that without serious efforts to educate people of the risks in their own home countries, the problem will continue to persist, no matter what punishments are put in place to deter the criminals. Issa Ali, Press TV, London.